Hey guys, my name's Gracie and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today I am bringing you a February TBR and this is not like a set TBR because I am most definitely a mood reader. So let's just hop right into the books that I want to read in February. So I told myself at the beginning of 2021 that every single month I wanted to read a Harry Potter book and a vampire book because I am 19 and I have yet to read the Harry Potter series so I figured that would get me to do it. So in January I read the first Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the, is the American Sorcerer? Yeah, the American version is the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone. So that means in February I am reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I don't know what happens in this one. I just know it's another adventure that Harry Potter and his friends go on probably at Hogwarts. Hogwarts. So yes, I'm really excited to read this one and it shouldn't take me long. Because it's only 341 pages. The next book I have is Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. So this is the third book in the, not Harry Potter series, in the Twilight Saga. And I'm really looking forward to this one. I just finished New, finished New Moon last night. So I can't wait to read this one. I think this might be one of the biggest books I've ever read. Well, after I read it, of course, that is. I know everyone has like a love-hate relationship. You either love this or you hate it. And I've never actually read it. I have grew up loving the movies, though, so I figured I want to read it. And so far, I've been enjoying the book so far. They're not like my all-time favorite, but they're still fun. And I definitely want to get the non-movie covers. Now I have another middle grade that I want to read because in 2021 I also want to read more middle grade. So I have Percy Jackson and The Sea of Monsters. This is the second book in the Person Jack Percy Jackson series. Again, I never finished reading this series growing up as a kid. So I figured it's time for me to read it and it'll be a quick read and I really really enjoy Percy Jackson and reading about Greek mythology and I just find this so fun and just entering their world is just a blast. I read the first book at the beginning of quarantine and like I zoomed through it and loved it. So hopefully I'll continue to love the rest of the series. The next book I have that I want to read in February is The Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. So another goal of mine is to read more diversely in 2021. And so I figured this is a great start. It's a cute contemporary about this girl who she's struggling with her mental health. So her parents send her to England for three months over the summer. And she's really upset because she doesn't get to spend um, her summer in Miami. And then she meets Orion Maxwell, who works at like a tea shop. And he appoints himself as his, her um, tour guide of, I believe it's Winchester. Yes, Winchester. I'm assuming this book is all about their cute little romance um, and just their adventures all across England or like around England. So yeah, that sounds super fun and a cute read. The next book that I have is a cult favorite. I mean, I can't believe I haven't read it, but I'm not like a huge fantasy reader, but I'm wanting to get into it in 2021. Again, another goal of mine. So the next book I want to read in February is A Court of Thorns, Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. Moss, Mass, Moss, Mass. I think it's Mass. Sarah J. Mass. Yes, that sounds correct. But all I know is it's like I feel like this will be a great like beginner into fantasy because there's it's pretty romance heavy. I've heard. I know nothing about this whatsoever. <laughs> you think I would? But yes, so I can't wait to read that and read more popular books. Um, so yes, I can't wait to read this one. And I believe this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I might be wrong, like comment down below if I'm mistaken on that though. And then the last book that I hope to read in February is another fantasy and it is The Cruel Prince. This was like the first fantasy that I've ever like 
heard the synopsis and I was like, ooh, like I really, really, really want to read that. But I have this fear that I'm going to, when I read popular books, that I'm just like not going to like it and it's going to just be a letdown for me. So I've yet to read it. I believe I got this for like, I got this in like a whole year ago. I have yet to read it. But I believe this is a um, fae story. And I believe two girls or one girl. Yes, her and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court of fairy. Fairy. So, again, another book that I know nothing about. But that's kind of like how I want to go into books like when I before I read them not knowing much about the books is like my preferred way of reading for some reason I don't know I just so hopefully I'll finally get over my fear and read this book so those are all the books that I hope to read in February so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a like and yeah bye